everyone and um, thank you for joining me um, my name's Gemma I'm the activities coordinator at Pendleside Hospice so I thought um, what I'd do is introduce you to something called walk in the labyrinth now you might have already done something like this before or you might never have heard of it or or done it before um, so I think sometimes when we think of a labyrinth and um, we can think of a, a maze or um, something that you have to walk around and try and figure out and try and um, figure out a way back if you get lost. The one good thing about a labyrinth is there's one way in and there's one way out so you can't you can't get lost in a labyrinth. Um, what we're going to do today is going to walk the labyrinth but using our finger and a labyrinth like this. So I printed this off and you can get these on the internet so you can just google labyrinth and you'll get different different kinds so you can choose which one you like and print it off if you struggle to get onto the internet or you can't find anything like this then please give us a call here at the hospice or um, give us an email and we'll be able to send something out to you so this is the labyrinth i'm going to be talking about today so we're going to walk the labyrinth just using our finger but a bit of background about what a labyrinth is and, and how it came about so labyrinths are ancient patterns and they consistently have been used worldwide and by different by different people over four thousand years or so thousands of years um, and it's a great way of enhancing well-being so it's a great well-being aid um, they're used for reducing stress so they can reduce stress they can um, enhance creativity they can encourage meditation self-reflection um, and it's a bit of time for you to try and sort of just focus on this one thing so that's a practice in itself so as you walk in the labyrinth which i'm going to show you in a moment um, as you walk it it's trying to focus on this one thing and not think about anything else and it's a practice in itself is that so don't worry if you have a try and you can't do it the first time or the second time or the third time you can just keep having a go and keep trying and the beauty of it is it is a very simple thing to do so there's no skill involved at all um, so don't worry about thinking oh well I, I don't think I'll be able to do it or what if it's too hard or what if don't worry it is it's a simple technique it's a simple way um, of, of sort of self of meditating reflecting and having a bit of, of you time so I'll show you what to do so it's a great way like I say it's somewhere you, you can't get lost in this this labyrinth like I say a maze you can kind of get lost you can go one way and then there's a dead end and you, you can't you can't think where to go next but with this it, you do it very slowly so you really think about what you're doing so I'm going to start up here at the entrance and just follow I'm doing this a bit quicker you can take as long as you want doing it so I'm just following the path around and like I say, there's no dead ends, there's no stops in a labyrinth. You can just go all the way around. There we go. So I'm doing this quickly, but you can do it a lot, a lot, lot slower than I'm doing it. there we go so I've reached I've reached the middle so when you reach the middle when you reach this space just keep your finger there just keep your finger there for as long as you need for as long as you want to and you might think oh it seems a bit daft what, what am I doing this for and but it's a great focus point so you can stay in there and if you've any worries if you've any stresses anything like that you can keep them in there so maybe think about them focus on them keep them in there 
but then you might have happy, you know, there might be happy thoughts, there might be things you just want to, like your special little place that you can go. So you can keep all your happy thoughts, memories, things like that. Or equally, you can also keep your little bit of stresses in there as well. So it's a very um, individual thing. It's a very personal thing. So you can't, um, I can't really tell you how you, you know, I can show you how to use it. But then from there on, it's up to you how, how you go about using it and what you want to get, get from it really. So when you're coming out, it's kind of, there you go, you've left the, left the centre. So whatever you've left in there, if there are things that are, are troubling you and bothering you, leave them in there. You know, you can come out, follow the labyrinth round, knowing you've left your worries or your stresses in there. Okay? So I'm not going to spend ages <laughs> getting out, but you, you see what I mean, you, you can't get lost in there. You can take as long as you want to get to the point in the middle. You might find it difficult at the beginning, even though it seems such a simple thing to do. It, you know, you might find it a little bit, a little bit difficult. But it's something to practice. It's something to have a go. And it really is a great way of, you know, it's another way of um, meditating. It's another way of um, focusing your mind on on something, something else. Um, and yeah, I hope. I hope you do you do try it and and get something from it and if you want to know more about it obviously there is the internet it will tell you a lot on there but you can just give us a call and then um, i'm happy to talk it through with you okay so thank you for joining thank you for joining me and um we'll hopefully see you again very soon thanks very much Bye bye